Please, stop this! What's the use in fighting amongst ourselves now? What's the use? For vengeance! What more reason do I need? What? That's right. We must take our vengeance. For the thousands of lives you have stolen! I killed! No, no way! I didn't! I'll have your life for an apology, Rex! <laughs> Stop right there! How dare you run! So Zanza is like sitting up there at the top of the tower what is being this? fed information What's by all the blades. With everyone? Pyra, Mithra, Grams, where are you? And he's waiting where for the two guys? Aegises to bring him their different answers. He's trying to make a decision about something? Why Rex Rex run? Tora. Puppy. Kind of glad I didn't See, give Poppy Gloria. chips or work on Don't Tiger Tiger right wrong. now. You having fun? Jack. Oh, Zeke and him together. Playing the hero like the kid you are. Zeke could be scary. If he's got actually, if he's using Pandora, Rex, Rex it, Pandora won't be as bad. Friend. Why Rex Rex become driver when? If he had Cosmos, I have an issue. Become driver. Tora tries so hard, and for what? It useless. Master Pawn is right. Rex just have a little luck and become driver of Aegis? Poppy never asked to be born as imitation. Poppy want to be real too. Not fair. Pandoria's got a pretty good weapon too, though. I've been using her. Getting special treatment from everyone. Getting chosen by the Aegis. Who decided you should have all that power? How about... You hand it over to the prince right now. He deserves it. Stop it already. I did nothing wrong to any of you. So you haven't worked that out either. In your hurry to get here, you never stop to consider all the things you left lying in your wake. Here we go. This is going to be rough. Okay, time to take you guys. Four is lower level. Could have been easier. Cyclone smash. The Aegis is for the likes of the Aegis. Yeah, we got the real guy. My spirit soars. Wicked. My goals exactly. Yup. Ha. You look different. Maybe things will get interesting. Quick shut up. Give the word. We got this one. Blind spot. Ha. Wild side. Wing smash. Go for it. Rigid shield! Why not? Yeah! Ah, I missed! We are in flawless harmony! We'll beat them with the power spinning! Oh, really? Wild side! Wing smash! Weapons! Uh, no effect! Shape. Spinning slash! Yeah! Nice spot! Why but not? It was impossible to become real driver! Man, freaking block! Rush down. No Poppy effect. Cyclone smash. Poppy will protect the wind. Go for it. Shall destroy. Shield. Deathwing. Why not? Yeah. Cyclone smash. Poppy will protect. Come on. Spot. I missed. Poppy will protect. Come on. Come on. Yeah, whittle them down. But... Wing smash. There we go. <laughs> <sighs> That block, though. <laughs> Enough! Stop! Uh, Tatora! Poppy! No, I never wanted this. Zeke! Pandoria! Oh, now I have Pyra's sword. She wasn't exactly helping in the fight. How are you doing, Rex? <laughs> what? Oh. He's back to full size. Gramps. 
This place... The one we saw die at the beginning of the game. What is the point? Well, Grumps. Is the question. What is the point yeah. of us? Really? We are born as blades, then return to our slumber again and again over countless years. Until we become Titan. To wander this world for countless more. And at the end of it all, we sink into nothingness. Have you ever thought about it? What it means to exist for close to an eternity, with no clear purpose or goal? That's... Must be nice to be human. Living for a limited time, thinking limited thoughts, it must be so much easier. I envy your kind. Just think, Rex, would you? What would you do if you were me? Would you be happy to drift around the ocean with a human on your back? Is that all I am to be? I, I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. Why are you asking me? You're being strange. Everyone's acting so strange. Hmm. Here we go. Back in Lotharia. Onset. We're gonna find out what's hiding in that cloud. Welcome back. You're late, Rex. Where did you want to? Both of them. To? Pyra. Mithra. Come on. Let's go ahead and eat. I've cooked up a whole bunch of your favorites. I hope you've got room. Have I? Well, eat up. Which kind of bread do you want? Oh, I, oh, I didn't realize that when we went down into that grave and did all the trials to get the sword that we were going inside that Titan. There you go. Thanks. Hey, do you want some wine? Oops, <laughs> you're too young. Silly me. Mithra, has something happened? Saving the world, too young to drink wine. What do you mean? It's just, you're a lot nicer than normal. <laughs> Stop it. I'm always nice to you, aren't I? If, if you say if so. If you say so. Hey, Rex, come on. How can you sit down to eat without washing your hands first? That's a faux pas. Go wash your hands right now. I, um, sorry. You're acting almost like Mithra today, Pyra. Did you scrub them properly? Yeah. They're clean. Great. Okay, then. Let's eat. Thanks for the food. Um... It looks really good. Tastes even better. Of course it does. 
After all, I made it myself. Maybe I'll try my hand next time. Mithra, no. You know how that always ends. But carbon's good for you. Anyway, I carbon's good for you. Rex too. <laughs> no cooking. Who's gonna save the world if Rex gets the runs? You're so mean. It was only that one time. Um, it's okay, you two. I don't care who cooks. I'm just happy with. I'm happy with. <laughs> Rex. It's so strange. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. Everyone's all wrong. They all said I... But now you two... <laughs> Did... Did I go wrong somewhere? I think that's enough. Please, Father. <laughs> okay. The other guy, when he was dying, he also mentioned mother. Would that be Mana? Or was it actually his mother? <laughs> Or is Mameth actually his mother? You guys. Uh, Rex. Why are we all here? I thought I was... I merely wished... to examine the shapes of your hearts. That voice. Your. My name is Klaus, the architect of this world. Okay. I have watched over you all this time. I have seen your thoughts, your desires, the things you have achieved. So you did that just now? Yes. Those were not your present forms, but alternate possibilities. Your other selves that lie within. That is what I wanted to see. Our other selves? You mean we're all thinking stuff like that, deep down? Was that how we really feel? Then you saw it too. Looks like we were all shown the same kind of stuff. It creeped me out. What are you trying to prove? Those were the fears you harbor. I don't get it at all. What was your purpose in showing us this? Those were not pleasant visions to behold. My only purpose was to find out how mankind has changed. And where it is headed. And were you disappointed? No. As you stand before me right now, that is who you are. That is enough. Architect, sir. I came here because I met Pyra. Is this really Elysium? Are you really? I will show you everything. Memories. Mine. And those of this planet. This world was once the stage of a struggle for survival that dwarfed this current predicament. The world was an unseemly place, though glimpses of beauty persisted. 
What should people live for? Who should they live for? They live for themselves. To harbor desires and struggle to realize them. That is the natural state of man. But I did not think that was good enough. I lost hope for mankind. I searched tirelessly for an outside solution. And one day I found it, the conduit. Why it chose to appear before us, I do not know. However, its existence presented a new possibility. Possibility? Our world was not the only one. Endless universes coexist, side by side, yet all completely unaware of one another. The conduit was our link to these foreign worlds. And I opened that forbidden gateway, praying that it would change the world. You have seen the plane called Moritha, have you not? That is what remains of my world. When I opened the conduit, many people and many things disappeared into distant dimensions. Oh. All that remained here were the ruins of Moritha and half of my body. What? What? Yeah. Body. Half of me lives on in some other dimension, but not for much longer. What do you mean? The moment of my other self's demise draws near. Father, you... I was a fool. Because of my foolishness, I lost everything. Left here, alone and broken, I longed for oblivion, but even that eluded me. This is my punishment. Retribution from on high, for the sin I have committed. On high? There was only one thing I could do. I had to atone for my sin. I swore to restore this world. The first thing I created was a special particulate substance with the ability to restore deteriorated matter. You all know it as the Cloud Sea. Huh. The Cloud Sea can disassemble matter it comes in contact with and rebuild it in the image of all the things that once made up this world. This way, little by little, I could rebuild the world I had brought to ruin. Next, I began to recreate life. I gathered miniature vessels containing memories of all this planet's former life forms and I scattered them across the Cloud Sea. These are the core crystals. The crystals bonded with the Cloud Sea's particulate reconstructors and formed the nuclei of new life. Those nuclei developed into minute life forms, the Titans, who would over time grow larger and larger. Finally, the Titans gave birth to complex organisms based on the data in their core crystals. This newly birthed life 
over untold millennia, evolved into a new breed of mankind. So that's how we came to live in this world. But I did not trust this world, born as it had been. What if it were to repeat our mistakes? What if someone like me appeared? To stave off these doubts, I implemented one final measure. And so the blades were born. <sighs> Ontos, Logos, and Numa. The three cores of the Trinity Processor formed their cornerstone. However, Ontos triggered a space-time transition event and disappeared forever. I was left with the other two, Logos and Numa, and trusting them with managing the blades. Does that mean that Ontos is Alvis? and Pyra. Those are the names that you now know them under. So... I am... Numa. Managing. The core crystals at the heart of each blade are tasked with relaying all kinds of information to Logos and Numa about the selection pressures of the outside world and the biological status of their bonded human, but also the experiences and emotions they share. As the data continually accrues, new evolutionary code is... He still was like the Monado, which makes him essentially a blade. And this code is used to create new, further evolved blades. These blades too become titans in time and create new generations of life forms. This was the new circle of life I had created. A grand scheme. It boggles the mind, Dad. So we're all born from this endless cycle of life to replace the victims of the previous world. That's right. But there were also a handful of survivors. I believe you saw them when you were in Moritha. The unfortunate ones who clung to life. Ah. You mean those monsters? Were they originally people? Core crystals were first conceived as a replacement for human brain cells, a product of mankind's age-old quest for immortality. And that's what became of them. How awful. But that technology became the starting point for the creation of blades and titans. So, in one sense, their sacrifice was not in vain. Though not all may see it as such. So tell us, in the end, did we develop as you had hoped? What do you think? I couldn't possibly. Well, those phantasms which you all experienced earlier, those are feelings that lurk in all of your hearts. As well as that man, Amalthusus. When a person loses something, they cannot help but seek a reason why. Within themselves, or in others. They seek a concrete answer to the question of who they really are deep inside such a very lonely existence but perhaps that is what it is to be human 
All this data passed through me, and I knew. Huh. All of you. You were not in any way different from us before. Huh. That's why I did not intervene. Five hundred years ago, when the man finally arrived here, I did nothing when he took away Logos and Numa. I stood and watched as Logos, instantiated into blade form, set out to purge the world. You don't make sense. Didn't you go to all that trouble to rebuild it? Then why would you... It is fate. Fate? It is fated to happen. It cannot but happen. My atonement was doomed from the start. That can't be. I had made my peace with it. Once more, I longed for nothing more than to disappear. However, something has now changed. And that is you, Rex. You and Numa. Me? And Pyra and Mithra? You reforged your bond in a way I had not thought possible. And the life you share. Moreover, the conduit which fell into a stubborn silence after the world's end has begun stirring once more. Oh my. Rex. The power you and Numa exercise is the conduit's power. It comes leaking out of some far-flung dimension. And it is a power we can know nothing about. But with its help, the world may be about to change. The hell? What's all this shaking? It is Logos. Malos. Trying to destroy this world and everything in it. What? Remember, at heart, he is but an information processing unit. Neither good nor evil. He is driven by a certain impulse. The despair that the man named Amalthus felt. I see. So it was right. What I felt back then, I mean. Rex. Rex. What is it you desire? What else? To stop Malos. And if you succeed? I'll punch him in his stupid face, and then... Probably get a drink with him or something. <laughs> That's the sixth rule of the salvages court. That's the sixth rule. First have a punch out, then drink to forget. Once you've forgotten, the friendship's all set. I'm... not old enough to drink yet, though. I see. <laughs> I see, yeah. Numa. No, I should call you Pyra and Mithra. What is it? I want to apologize for having burdened you with all this. Don't worry. We're actually grateful. Thanks to you, Father, we got to meet Rex and everyone else. Those are cherished memories. Father. I have transferred all of Elysium's data and authorization. Are she like permanently hybrid form now? Proud. We will. Rex. Yes. I will disappear soon. When I do, the conduit will likely disappear from this world. 
You will not be able to use your power forever. I understand. We'll make do somehow. I'm counting on you. It's kind of how Shulk handled, um, Egil. I guess Egil was, um, Xenoblade Chronicle 1, one's, uh, Jin. Have you changed your mind about this world? Right now, I think I am glad I met you all. This half of Klaus right. is so different from Zanza. <laughs> our answers match. Man. Thank you for giving us all life. Where's Malos? If he is here, I know where he must have gone. Where is it? Tell us. The greatest of all artifices. The artifice that exists solely to destroy the world. Ion. Ion? So that's what Malos meant. All right. Looks like Malos is our final boss. Gonna need time to take him out. Then that's where we'll go. Okay. Fix this up real quick. Uh, yep. Showtime! Counting on you. Woo! Looking forward to it. I don't see any reason to switch it up right now. Let's just stick with what we've been doing. Final check of everything.
Yeah, I got Cosmos in like chapter five. <laughs> to be fair, I did realize she was in the game and then decide to pop a whole bunch of cores and just happened to get her. But I mean, like I was like, oh, we're getting Cosmos. And then we got her that night, which was pretty awesome. Because apparently that's exceedingly lucky. Um, streamer luck, right? Let's just give him this one. All right. All right. Okay. Not going to mess with these. I think we're okay. I'm not giving up crit. I mean, that's just a straight upgrade, but we lose the ether. Do I care about the ether? Not really. I, I, was, I, I think we're fine. Like, we, ha we have lots of things we can do. We'll do them in the post game. Let's save the game, though. Because so much progress. All right. 